Antifa in Portland, quite often we see them as some of the most disruptive demonstrators on the streets. But Antifa can't always be picked out in the crowd. Our Verify team found that Antifa, which stands for anti-fascist, is a loosely connected series of groups with shared left or extreme left ideology that has no central governing body, no defined roles, and because of their admitted secrecy, it's hard to know how many people count themselves as members. I think it's fair to say it's a movement. I would say that the ideas of anti-fascism for them basically are concerns in the United States uh, about racism. PSU history professor Mark Rodriguez studies protest movements. He says this century's Antifa grew out of the WTO protests in 1999, taking on economic globalization in a big way in Seattle. He says the most current version of Antifa seems a lot like what's happening in Hong Kong as people fight Chinese authoritarianism. Uh, it's young people sending messages using um, secure messaging services to get small groups, maybe five people out. Um, they don't have leaders. And as somebody who studies social movements, for me, what makes Antifa really unique in a way as a modern protest movement is you can't contact uh, any leader. Rodriguez says in Portland, those loosely connected small groups may amount to 150 or so protesters, maybe more often the ones out late doing damage and fighting police. Our team found that Antifa supporters generally campaign, organize, and protest, sometimes violently, against actions, people, and organizations they view as promoting authoritarian, racist, homophobic, or xenophobic beliefs. But PSU Black Studies professor Shirley Jackson says Antifa has actually blurred the focus for the Black Lives Matter movement in Portland since protests began way back in May. They believe in what they're doing. However, I think they also need to understand how difficult they may be making the situation for the promotion of Black Lives Matter in this time where, you know, Black people are really trying to make some headway. Professor Rodriguez would agree. He says Antifa is good at getting people on the streets. But what they're not so great at is coming to terms with the idea that eventually protest movements seek to bargain. And that, he says, is a roadblock to trading protests for progress. Tim Gordon, KGW News.